Welcome, stalkers and horror movie fanatics. I am already wielding today's film we're about to discuss. This one is by possibly my favourite filmmaker of all time. I know he had his highs and lows, and if you did watch my previous video, you'd be quite familiar with my passion for Italian zombie movies, as well as just the general aesthetic of the uh, zombies in those movies. I don't think anything's ever compared, and in my own opinion, this movie is possibly the greatest zombie movie to have ever been made. And yes, I'm including the George Romero movies as well. I know uh, a lot of the hardcore fanboys would find that hard to listen to, or to stomach, so to say. But um, I have to say guys, come on, you have to admit, Zombie Flesh Eaters is on a tier of its own. I know this is one of those, uh, I think a lot of people would refer to it as a B-movie. I would never do that. I just think this movie just set the groundwork for not just zombie movies, but a lot of movies of its time. For its tone, its delivery, atmosphere, the uh, music. <laughs> Come on guys, Fabio Fritzi. You're going to either go for Goblin or Fabio Fritzi when you're watching these Italian flicks and well... Fabio Fritzi, he makes this film what it is, and of course, him working alongside a brain like Lucio Fulci's, you know you're going to get impressive results. We're going to take a look at the actual uh, film, or the packaging itself now, and discuss it in a bit more detail. So let's take a look. Right, so this one is actually the Zombie Flesh Eaters collection. A little bit of trivia. Um, the film in some countries, or specifically in Italy, was titled as Zombie 2. This was to cash in on George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, or Zombie as it was aptly named in Italy, to trick viewers into believing it was a sequel to the movie, albeit that it has nothing to do with it whatsoever. However, the film itself stands completely well on its own, even though there were <laughs> quite a number of sequels, but we're not going to go into too much detail of that because this video will just last forever. Um, the movie itself is actually on the video nasty list as well, and um, if you're familiar with that list, it can be very hit or miss, and this one is a fucking deadly hit to the heart, or at least tearing out the heart. Nah, sorry for these bad puns guys, fucking terrible. But yeah, this movie cannot be missed, whether you're a fan of old school cinema, zombie movies, or just into horror altogether, this film has aged very well, versus the uh, George Romero movies of its same time, meaning Dawn of the Dead, yes, I'm going to bring it up again. I'm a huge fan of Tom Savini, but I really feel like he was lacking in his execution of the zombie makeup at that point, especially when you're comparing it to zombie flesh eaters. If you can get hold of this collection, uh, it actually includes an additional one, Zombie Holocaust, Zombie Butcher, uh, Dr. Butcher MD. Check that one out as well. You'll love it. Quickly before we go into this one, guys, if you're not already stalking me by subscribing, be sure to do so and enjoy the clip. Until the next episode, keep it creepy.